So continuing on with our sewing series, let's say you have found the fabric that you would like to use. I'm gonna be making this uh, lap apron, not with this material. This is just the material that my daughter had. I'm not ready to cut out my apron and I haven't chosen my fabric, but just for explanation alone, I am going to use hers as an example. In order to find the grain of your fabric, because they'll tell you lay it on the grain or across the grain or diagonal from the grain. Well, you're like, what is the grain of the fabric? Here's a really easy hint. You see this line of white along the printed part of your fabric? This runs parallel with your grain line. Now the reason they have this here is it has markings on it. It tells them and you who was the designer and what pattern of the picture that's on the material, the fabric, and it gives us a number code. We know there is white, bronze, and black. So that shows that too. And it has a particular name for this pattern. So if you had to get more and you had this information, you could find this material again. Even if you don't go to the same store, as long as you had all this here, you could look that up and you could find it again. This one is a Michael Miller Fabrics. Um, the pattern is called CX3542 Zephyr. And then you would have this color codes. And that's why we have this along the side. This selvage edge is never used in your finished outfit. But it helps us to find our grain line. We know it's running parallel with this line. Parallel. So my grain line runs this way. Now when I get a pattern piece, it will show me an arrow and it says grain line. We know then you have to lay your pattern down with that arrow running parallel with your salvaged edge. That is your grain line. So in this case, it's ties for the back of my apron and I'm gonna find my grain line. I know it runs this way and I'm gonna lay this arrow parallel to this line. I would normally measure uh, this tip of the arrow to ever out to how many, this, say this measures seven inches. Okay, that's great. I put a pin there and then I'd measure this tip of that arrow out seven inches and put a pin there. And then I know truly that my pattern is laying perfectly parallel with that, um, my grain line. You wouldn't want to get it a little bit crooked because it would look crooked. That's how you find your grain line. Very, very important. Another important note is, you say, well, there are three different colors in this apron or in this fabric, and what should I use, what color should I use for the thread? Well, you would find the biggest color on here, the biggest blocking of color. And our background color is black. That would be the best one to use because if you squint, you're gonna see mostly black. Kind of squint, squint your fabric and see what pops out at you is the most predominant color and it's black. So when you buy your sewing thread, I would buy black. You go with the predominant color and the predominant color in this is black. Also, before cutting out your pattern pieces, you shrink your fabric. And pre-shrink means to just get it really wet. This is what I do. I don't throw it in the washing machine and wash it. You can if 
you want to wash it one time with soap, but I don't. I um, get it really wet, soak it in the sink, and once it's gotten saturated with water, I just wring it out like this, you know, wring it out, and then put it in my dryer on the proper setting. Of course, this proper setting would be cotton because that's what I'm using. And that would cause the fibers to tighten a little bit and it would shrink just a little bit. If you waited to sew your piece and then wash it, it could possibly not shrink evenly. You could have other pieces maybe shrunk a little more or a little less and then your piece would come out kind of wonky. So you don't want to wait to do that. You want to pre-shrink first. Not all fabric is to be pre-shrunk, but cotton, I suggest you do that. Okay, join me next time when I have more tips for you.